Good afternoon and welcome to Arkansas Children's. Um, February is Heart Month and so we are talking about all things heart related and we have our subject matter expert Dr. Elijah Bo uh, Bowen and he is a pediatric uh, cardiologist here at Arkansas Children's so he is going to talk today about chest pain in children and I know this isn't something usually parents think about but um, we're used to common injuries that kids have. So chest pain, I think, would be especially scary for some parents. So we want to talk about common causes, um, symptoms to look for, and how uh, parents can, can be on the lookout for this type of thing. So um, our cardiology and heart surgery program is nationally ranked um, by US News and World Report. We are heart experts all year long, but February, we definitely like to pay some extra attention to the heart. Um, so let's talk about chest pain. Um, when we do think about chest pain, we think about it in adults, um, but it's different when it comes to children. Can you talk about that? Yeah, so chest pain in children is almost always not due to a heart problem. In adults, frequently it is due to a heart problem, and a serious heart problem, and we think of, a, of it being a heart attack in adult, or what we call in the medical parlance of myocardial infarction. Children very rarely have a myocardial infarction or an MI or a heart attack. Usually chest pain in children is due to something other than the heart. And what are some common causes of chest pain in children? Yeah, one of the w easy ways that we, when I talk to medical students about thinking about causes of chest pain in children is to think about just all the things that are in the chest. So. There's more than just the heart and the chest. There's bones and muscles, the esophagus, the airway, lungs, the lining of the lungs, the lining of the heart. Um, so any of those things can cause pain. Um, so some of the frequent things that we see uh, causing chest pain in children is reflux, uh, mild viral infections of the bones or inflammation of the bones and muscles in the chest wall or the lining of the lungs or Asthma can sometimes sometimes cause chest pain as well. Infections in the lungs, like pneumonia or just a viral infection of the lungs, all of these can can be causes of chest pain in children or injuries. You know, I mean, if they sustain an injury, playing sports or otherwise, that can cause chest pain as well. That that's good to keep in mind. It's more than just the heart in yep. in the chest. What are some warning signs um, if a child does come to their parents with chest pains? Um, could it be a heart problem? What should parent, when should parents get concerned? Right. Um, so the, the two major uh, red flags for us as pediatric cardiologists and pediatricians and medical professionals in general is if a child has chest pain and it's always associated with exercise. So every time they exercise, they feel chest pain. And, it's with, and the chest pain gets worse with the degree of exertion. Um, the other thing that gets us very concerned is if a child passes out while they're exerting themselves. And what we will frequently, what will get my attention is if there's a, 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 a young person participating in basketball or track or uh, swimming or any of the other highly aerobic sports that um, require very intense cardiovascular fitness. And if they're passing out doing one of those sports, uh, I, I get very concerned. And I think a topic and a question a lot of people might wonder, can children have heart attacks? So that, so technically, yes, they can have a heart attack. It is as rare as hen's teeth. Um, and, and I do tell that to families, um, that uh, heart attacks in children, we see l less than once a year here um, at Children's Hospital. Again, it depends on what you define as a heart attack. Um, in adults, as I was saying, you know, they're, a heart attack is a myocardial infarction, meaning that the blood vessels perfusing the heart muscle get blocked. And they get blocked for a number of reasons, and most of them are lifestyle related because of diabetes or uh, high blood pressure, um, smoking, uh, high, um, uh, high cholesterol, um, snorting cocaine. Um, and any of those things put you at increased risk of having a myocardial infarction. Those things are not usually present in children, those, in, unless your teenager snorting cocaine and then they develop acute chest pain, then I probably need to hear about that. But otherwise, um, very rarely do we see those risk factors in children. Um, and they don't, they don't have overt heart attacks, myocardial infarctions. 
Good. That's uh, uh, for parents listening. That is that is comforting to hear. Um, let's talk about what a clinic visit looks like if a child does come in with with chest pain. What happens uh, during the clinic appointment? Yeah. So I think, and I, I really appreciate you asking that question because expectations are huge. Um, I would the, in the vast majority, and the literature supports this. In the vast majority of cases of children with chest pain, uh, a pretty minimal workup uh, usually can rule out a heart cause of the chest pain. What a family should expect is for the cardiologist to evaluate the child, listen to their heart, take a full history, including a family history to see if anybody else in the family has had heart problems when they were young. Um, and then uh, what we'll usually do as well is an electrocardiogram, which is a very short test. It only takes 10 seconds. And we're looking at the electrical activity of a child's heart to see if there is enlargement of any of the chambers in the heart, if there are electrical problems otherwise. Rarely we'll do an ultrasound of the heart if there are red flags in the history or physical exam. Um, and then in rarely as well we'll consider what's called an exercise stress test where we'll put a child either on a stationary bike or a treadmill and actually run them or have them cycle while we are monitoring their heart to see if we can elicit that chest pain and see what if it's uh, actually a heart cause. Okay, that's excellent info. Um, again, February is Heart Month. Um, we're talking with Dr. Elijah Bolin, a pediatric cardi cardiologist here at Ar Arkansas Children's. We're talking about chest pain, um, common causes, warning signs that parents should be aware of. Um, Dr. Bolin, is there anything else that you would like to share about chest pain or about heart health in general? Yeah, so um, you know, I, I, what, some of the counseling that I give to all families, uh, is, it's pretty boring counseling, but it's true for all of us. Um, and for heart health in general, um, there are kind of four pillars of, of heart health. Uh, healthy diet, um, so not a lot of processed foods, um, uh, lots of uh, vegetables, uh, unprocessed vegetables and fruits. Um, good sleep, at least, boy, in adolescence it needs to be nine or even 10 hours consistently per night. Getting the um, getting screens out of the room and telephones out of the room and allowing your teenager to sleep. Um, uh, routine exercise, all teenagers need to be exercising at least an hour a day and that's true for the rest of us as well. Aerobic exercise for like 30 minutes or so um, uh, for, for the rest of us but an hour a day for teenagers. And then finally a low stress environment. That's easy for me to say. I mean, being a teenager is stressful, and uh, but as much as you can mitigate stress, but those are the four pillars of, of, of heart health in general, um, and that I, I stress to, to families when they come in and talk with me. Excellent, and, and good advice for, for everyone. Definitely yeah. the exercise, um, healthy diet, and sleep, and low stress, which um, <laughs> it's a stressful time. Um, yeah. and, and speaking of that, we hope that you and your family are staying healthy. Um, you're wearing your mask, washing your hands, and social distancing. If you do have a question for Dr. Bolin about um, chest pain or heart health, please leave them in the comments below and we'll make sure he sees them. Um, but in the, in the meantime, have a happy Heart Month and um, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.